19th of January, four days ago, we paired the Salmia Rizzini moths, and now after four days, uh, most of them already died, because as usual with Saturnid beetles, they don't even have mouse parts to eat or drink something uh, after mating and, and egg laying, mostly they are dead immediately, so that's what you see now here. If we find some still living ones, we put them together and now we try to count the, the number of eggs they have laid here. This is uh, from the wings of the of the Thalmia Ricini mosses. Uh, this one is still living. This is uh, a male. Sometimes they, they uh, after mating, they just uh, flatter around for about one, two hours until they are dead. Look like this. So, and here we see a lot of eggs on the bottom of this box. You can. So now we separated them from the other stuff, and we can count them. Of course, uh, if you want, you can count them one by one, but also you can uh, allow yourself to guess how many they are, because uh, uh, this is a long job. But now I, d I do it for this. Uh, I do it for this special cage here, like this. I try to put them flat on the hand and uh, try to count them from one side. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, that you see here, and uh, what I do now, they are not all, because there are more here, look, on this branch, and even here you see a female, and she has glued all the eggs uh, to a little branch of this uh, twig of Ligustrum here, and she probably still doing this, but she looks a little weak now. So this uh, bunch of eggs here, they must be around 50 in one pack or even more than 50 in one pack. And also in other parts, like down here, you see some eggs on this twig. Also here you see some, also here. So that's probably from one female, from this female here. And if we count them, we will see that it's, that it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 4. This is 10. 14. 16. 18. Oh, how many are it? 18. 1, 2, 3, 4. 22. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 40. And now this bunch here, 40, is 4 more here. There are 10 here. 50. And now I take these here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These are at thirty. On the thirty, hundred fifty x. This female still looks good here. So she's crawling around. So what I do, I put her back into that cage and if we find another living one like this here, but this seems uh, to be not very active anymore and the males, they have died already, so let's put them aside. So we have 100, we have 150 here. So that's from two females, 250 eggs, that's really good, pretty good. Uh, so they are a big and strong. Uh, now let's see here. This one still living. Seems to be a male here, this one. I put it to the other two ladies. This here seems to be a female. I put it also to the others here. And then we have here this is dead already. This is living. Let's put it back here. So now we see here also a lot of eggs in this uh, box. The task is now to count them all. Uh, then after that I show you how I prepare uh, the eggs for the hatching process. Yeah, so look here we have now all the eggs from two boxes, that is uh, from uh, four females, this is 200, 350, 400, 530 eggs I counted for four, this is about 110 uh, eggs per female, that's a lot, so that's a good quota to go on with the breeding process. I will now prepare the box for the, for the hatching. I do it always the same, just put a piece of wet paper on the bottom of the of a plastic jar and then um, I put one leaf of Prunus Lauro Cerasus on it <coughs> with the bottoms with the back side to the top like this. And then, so that the eggs are laying then on the on the leaf. If you think you can put a second one here, you can as you like. This, the idea is that the eggs do not touch the the wet toilet paper, but that they are lying directly on the leaf. So if you put them the eggs in here they are positioned directly on the leaf like that and if you like you can uh, cover this with, you know, with another piece of uh, leaf because now at this moment we have to pay attention that humidity is not going uh, too low in the next uh, few days and that's why you should cover it also afterwards I put all the all these plastic uh, glass jars into one box like this where I can keep the humidity high with uh, spraying every day. Not on the eggs but uh, in the box so that humidity stays up. That's the whole process and of course now we have for every female we have one of these uh, boxes uh, with little, little plastic cups with the egg, so we will at the now this is 180 here, like this. And as soon as I see that they are hatching, I will change the foot plant from Prunus laurocerosus to Ligustrum ovalifolium so that they can chew on this uh, softer. Uh, material because the Brunus Lauroceros sometimes for the L1 stage caterpillar it's a bit too hard uh, to chew in here 
like this. Okay, so we have this is 100x like this. Foot plant on it like this. That's the whole process. So uh, from this, we have two more boxes that I open in the English playlist. You are used to that, I'm sure already, that I make uh, all these steps in both languages so that uh, you can follow them uh, in the other playlist also. And uh, this will, will give us around 800 2000 uh, eggs and let's see how many of this hatch uh, to L1 caterpillars that we can feed in the winter time here in Europe with our Ligustrum ovalifolium and with our Prunus lauro terrasus. Yes, thanks for watching.